So somebody was just telling me that Econet is now the fastest network in the country. Today we're going to be testing that out. I'm here in Mabel Rain. We're going to be testing uh, Net1 versus Econet to find out which company is the best 4G. Now to make this test fair, we're going to be testing it out here in Mabel Rain. Then we'll go to the CBD, I'm sure get into town and then waterfalls. That's my itinerary for today. So I'm sure if we test it out in those three locations, we can get to find out which network is the best. Unfortunately, Telesail cannot be a part of the test. I don't have a Telesail line. Plus, Telesail only have 3G. So, so let's see if we can get to test these networks out. All right, so uh, starting off, uh, there's Econet on the right and Net1 on the left. As you can see, Econet was very quick to connect on Oclas speed test um, whilst Net1 Keeps struggling to connect. I kept on getting error messages, but decent speeds from Econet. Uh, the download speeds 87.6 megabits. That's actually very fast. Whilst uh, Net One continues to struggle to connect. Uh, Net One is struggling to connect so uh, i can imagine what uh, econet cast uh, sorry i can imagine what net one customers are going through at the moment uh, keeps on cutting off now moving on to uh, netflix's fast.com this is a good way to gauge especially if you're going to be streaming uh, a lot of content um, as you can see already 19 megabits for Ethernet and rising uh, net one co now connected but the speeds are ridiculous right now it's 590 kilobits per second uh, uh, so interesting stuff that means if you're using net one you might not be able to watch your favorite content online uh, especially with the way it, it's going now it ends off at 1.9 megabits and 24 megabits for Ethernet. Now moving on to the CBD. Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm um, now in the city center. Um, I'm now in the city center, uh, clo actually close to the Net One building. And uh, let's see if we can do the speed tests again and see how it goes. Okay, uh, once again, Ukla speed test. Um, in the CBD, Econet once again very fast to connect, uh, getting good speeds as well, well in excess of 100 megabits. That's actually quite decent. Where Net One finally connecting, but the speeds are ridiculous, getting speeds that are even below one megabit. Uh, that's uh, not good for net one at the moment uh yeah the network has been bad for net one subscribers so i can imagine what they're going through finally getting a speeds of uh, 320 kilobits that's actually ridiculous whilst Ethernet is getting 4.14.8 download speeds um on the download speeds the, the, they don't look bad uh, for uh net one at the moment actually getting around six megabits uh, moving on to fast Netflix is fast.com. Uh, Ethernet once again well in excess of a hundred megabit speeds. Whilst um, Net One, even in town close to their offices, still not able to connect. Finally connected, but the speeds are paltry right now, hovering around 100 uh, sub 200 kilobits, which is uh, not good speeds, especially on 4G. That is actually very, very, very uh, terrible. I can expect what uh, uh, Net One customers are going through if they're getting these sort of speeds, ending off at 190 kilobits per second. All right, so let's do the third test of the day. Right now I'm in waterfalls, about to do the third test, but already you can already tell that uh, Econet is leading this one. Uh, recently, I think they had an upgrade. Remember just, uh, I think a few months ago, even like a few months ago, people were complaining about the Econet network, but now it seems uh, Net1 now is the one that is now having network struggle. So let's do the third test and see how it goes. 
Okay, once again, starting off with the Okla speed test, uh, it can add very quick to connect, uh, but uh, the speeds are not as fast as they were in the CBD, hovering around 20 megabits so far. Uh, net one finally connecting. Um, net one finally connecting with speeds still under one megabit. That is ridiculous. When it comes to Econet, the upload speeds are actually quite decent, 11.6 ending off there, whilst uh, Net1, it's around 1 megabit upload, which is not uh, the best out there. Uh, moving on to Fast.com, Econet once again starting off connecting very fast, 4.9 megabit speed and rising, and uh, on the left net one speeds are still under one megabit oh just now maybe hovering around one megabit there whilst ethernet on the other hand is already in its 40s so uh ending off at 49 megabits in waterfalls and uh net one 1 1.9 to uh, 2.2 megabits no. Now, if this test would have been done maybe a few months ago, uh, the results would have been surprising. Now, what we need to consider is that uh, Econet, we're just going through what Net1 is going through at the moment, but they upgraded their network from 4G to 4G+. Plus. As you know, Econet also have, has 5G, but they upgraded to 4G+, plus, which theoretically you can get around 300 uh, megabits uh, per second speeds as compared to conventional 4G, which uh, Net1 still uses which is uh, 100 megabits. Now what you need to consider as well is that Econet, Net1 and Teleso, they continue selling lines when they are not even upgrading their capacity. So that's why uh, maybe Net1 at the moment has problems because they brought in a lot of people without the capacity to be able to handle those people. And we also need to look at the cost factor as well. As you see, um, Net1 is offering one fi There's the 15 uh, gig Wi-Fi, which goes for $15. And Econet also have uh, their 10 gig package, which you get eight gigs during the day and two gigs off peak, right? For $13. So Econet is more expensive, but at the end of the day, they're offering uh, better speeds. And uh, Net1 on the other hand, it's actually quite reasonable in terms of costs, but the speeds are slow. So that's the conundrum that we have so far. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Otherwise I'll see you in the next video.